Hello again, welcome back. Coming up, looking for love in LA. We meet single Muslims hoping to make a match. Dating's out, so how do you meet your soulmate and stay true to your Islamic beliefs? But first, 80-year-old Gao Yao Jie is a retired gynecologist, China's number one AIDS awareness campaigner and a thorn in the side of the government. She's exposed the suffering of infected, poverty-stricken villagers and bullied the authorities into providing health care for them. Dr. Gao has spoken out publicly about the greed and incompetence which led to thousands becoming HIV positive through tainted blood donations. Not surprisingly, the Chinese government has been anxious to shut her up to the point where she was put under house arrest. But recently, she was allowed to travel to the US to accept a human rights award. And that's where Al Jazeera's Joanne Levine caught up with her. Tell us the story of how you started working with AIDS. Uh, Yuga 书写感染的儿子鞋库里鞋，我意识到问题的严重性，因为我本身就是个医生。When did you realize that AIDS was an epidemic in China? 九九年，九九年有人给我写信，说我们这里艾滋病，我们这里卖血的人，百分之六十以上都得了病，什么病了发烧，他们叫我他怪病治不好，都死了。When this first came out, did the government keep you from publicizing your work? 从这个时候开始，我的电话就被监控了。我要是往外出，我下农村去，后边就跟着便衣警察。而且我的，如果要农村人发现我的时候，他就奖赏他五百块钱；如果要发现你的时候，就奖赏五十。在那个时候的话，
The Western practice of dating is clearly out. And according to Islamic tradition, a Muslim can only marry another Muslim. So the prospects are pretty limited. But help is at hand. A mosque in California is offering a matchmaking service. We went to meet two singles taking part, Samia and Syed, to see if they're a match made in heaven. My name is Samia and I'm a clothing designer. Come on in. These are the kind of clothes that I make. You know, very regal, royal. They're not very Islamic, uh, but this coat, for example, you can actually wear this with an entire Islamic outfit with a scarf on. And I'm looking for a specific man, a Muslim man, obviously, because in Islam, I have to marry a Muslim man. So that's, the, that's on the top of the list. For me, the single most important characteristic in a person is sincerity. If I can find that, I mean, to me, that's worth more than gold. I'm Karima, and I'm her mom. I'm one of eight, and yes, I'm not married yet. Don't worry, Mom. You're going to a wedding very soon. <laughs> inshallah, inshallah, you know, God willing. I consider myself to be more of a moderate Muslim. You know, if you define moderate in terms of somebody who goes to a mosque every day, prays five times a day, and wears a special cap, then obviously I'm not that. At the same time, I don't drink, I don't eat non-halal meat, and I try to hold on to as many of the values as I've been taught by my parents. I told my mom that the mosque is arranging an event for single people to get together. That's about all she knows. So she said, yes, go for it. The event that we have is very appropriate, especially in this day and age. It's not like our family knows a lot of families and they know a lot of people. And we introduce each other. It doesn't work that way very well here. You're looking for the father of your children, the mother of your children. And your intention is to be married, not to go out, not to have fun. So anything outside of that relationship that's of a personal nature is not accepted. Um, and, and, and that's just the way it is. We're going to start uh, our program with a recitation by Sheikh Mohammed. <laughs> We try to find avenues where people can come together, interact with each other, and also the potential for them to find in a very honorable way potential spouses. And parents and family can feel in a respectful way, my daughter or son, or I am going to an event, and I don't feel cheapened by going there. Last Friday, I met one father. He knew I was doing this event, and he said, you know, I need to find somebody for my son. And he really liked this idea. He said, I really like that you're doing this. I would rather I had something like this but I was 17 when I got married, so I had no choice. So this, I wouldn't call it a range. This is more or less we are having them meet each other. You know, if they are interested, they could proceed from there. The activities were designed in a way that you will get to know the individual. In the first activity, we had the icebreaker bingo. They had a set of questionnaires, and they had to go find a person who met the criteria. Activity two is called uh, If I Was Married. In this activity, we have a bowl of questions that we have come up with relative to if you were married and how would you go about it? Uh, you just won $5,000. What would you do with it? Break it up and uh, maybe spend some of it in some other kind of uh, uh, get a gift for someone. You have a folder with all the people that are interested in you. They've submitted their little slips. So we made sure we had computers with photos loaded up onto the computers. The women are playing hard to get even on the computer. <laughs> so I'm going to make a cute list, a personality list, a well-dressed list. I mean, she is like the best dressed, the most stylish. Do you want my number? <laughs> I asked for it earlier, right? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask here. <laughs> Thank you. I liked her. I like the first compliment that you showed, the the hikey bikey one. I'm a law school student. I love hiking. The person that I would see myself with definitely has to have a positive attitude. One of my hobbies is traveling. Optimistic. I'm very active in in the uh, in Islamic work. Not so much how much you have, but how you see the world. Assalamu alaikum, um, my name is Sayyid Bukhar. Good manners. 
In my spare time, I enjoy working out and watching basketball. Well behaved, well dressed. Really socializing. Knows how to behave and talk in public. That's a princess for me. She doesn't have to come with diamonds. It was a pleasant surprise for women to approach me. I received several numbers. I think I did meet a couple of people who are potential suitors. So all in all, excellent event, very well organized, fun, interesting, exciting. You're I think really they have a spiritual great, connection yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there's something there. That's great. <laughs> and if we get married, that would be just bizarre. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> Well, sadly, love didn't blossom for Samia and Syed. He's getting married to a woman he met through family friends. Congratulations. But she is still single, so there's still time, boys. And that's almost it from us. But just before we go, here's a bit of uplifting news. The latest underwear invention from Japan. It's a bra that contains a handy pocket for your chopsticks. So now you'll always have your eating implements to hand, girls. You just need to lift and separate them. Just what every woman needs, of course. Do send us your comments on the programme. You can email us on everywoman at aljazeera.net. Until next time, bye-bye.